Welcome to the Skinna Beat. It is the 7th of June, 2013, and I am your host Skinna, and we've got a great show for you today with This Day in History, Weird Fact of the Day, Bloggers and Blogs, and Emails and Tweets. But first, I'd like to remind our listeners that we want to hear from you. So send us an email, send us a tweet, send us a picture, video, audio messages, comments, opinions, and questions. Our email is theskinabeat at gmail.com or send us a tweet at theskinabeat. Now it's time for This Day in History. On this day in 1903, Professor Pierre Curie revealed the discovery of polonium. On this day in 1498, Christopher Columbus left on his third voyage of exploration. On this day in 1654, Louis XIV was crowned King of France. On this day in 1955, the $64,000 question premiered. On this day in 1863, Mexico City was captured by French troops. On this day in 1494, Spain and Portugal divided the new lands they had discovered between themselves. On this day in 1981, an Israeli F-16 fighter destroyed Iraq's only nuclear reactor. And finally, on this day in 1775, the United Colonies changed their name to the United States. And that's it for This Day in History. Coming up next, Weird Fact of the Day. Did you know that Donald Duck has a middle name? That's right, Donald Duck's middle name is Fauntleroy. Donald Fauntleroy Duck first appeared in The Wise Little Hem in 1934. Over the next 20 years, Donald Duck appeared in over 150 films. Donald Fauntleroy Duck has played a major role in the Disney theme parks and is in more Disney attractions and shows at those parks than Mickey Mouse. And that is our Weird Fact of the Day. Now it's time for Bloggers and Blogs The blog we have for you today is called A Piece of She. This is a personal blog that contains poems, book reviews, wedding diary, and more. This blog is run by Sanich in India, so remember to check out this blog at a piece of she dot blogspot dot i n that's once again a piece of she dot blogspot dot i n so thank you Shanik for sharing your blog with us <laughs> now 
Now it's time to shoot it over to some emails and tweets. And our first tweet is from Chohi in Seoul, South Korea. And it says, Hello, Skina. I like your podcast. I am a big fan. Always listen to you. Thank you, Chohi. I always like to hear from my fans. So thank you for your tweet. Next, we have a tweet from Devin in Santa Monica, California. And Devin writes, Great podcast. Keep up the good work. Oh, thanks, Devin. As I said uh, before, I love to hear from fans, so thank you. And we have an email from Roberta in Boston. And Roberta writes, Hello, Skina. You seem to know a lot about wine. What do I serve with a leg of lamb? Okay, Roberta. You should serve a Sauvignon Blanc. And don't be frugal. Pay at least $25 or more for the bottle. That way you'll be sure to get quality. The rule of thumb for wine is the more you pay, the better the quality. And it always is true. So, good luck to you, Roberta. And we have a tweet from Robin in Mississauga, Ontario. And Robin says, Hi Skeena, here's a pic of me wearing angel wings. Well, thanks for the picture, Robin, and I'll be sure to post it for all to see. And that is it for emails and tweets today. All emails, tweets, and pictures will be posted on our blog, theskinabeat.blogspot.com, with abbreviated forms of my answers. Remember, if you do have a question, please write in. If you don't have a question, write in too. Send us photos, videos, audio, opinions, comments, and anything else you can think of. Send it to us by email to theskinabeat at gmail.com or send us a tweet at theskinabeat. And at this time, I'd like to thank our ever-growing audience. Yesterday you helped break our most views in a single day record for our blog, theskinabeat.blogspot.com, breaking the old record that was set on Tuesday. So to all those listening, remember to tell your friends and family about us, and also write in as well. We love hearing from you. Well, that's it for the Skeena Beat today. This is your host Skeena saying... Always wear a smile. Until next time, goodbye. Editor's note. The upload of this podcast was delayed due to technical difficulties during the editing process. We apologize for any inconvenience.